So, may I start now? Yes. Do I need a microphone or something? Ah, okay. So, hello everyone. Uh, my talk is uh, Twimoji 3.0 and Beyond S3 <coughs> 5.0. So, this, this flag is actually made of emojis, if you, <laughs> <laughs> if you notice. And so, good evening, everyone. <laughs> Hi. I'm uh, Juanito Fatas. I'm from Taiwan, and I work for Jolly Good Co. And my name is uh, Spanish name because I want to be a you know, foreigner on the internet, so <laughs> <laughs> I can have more influence <laughs> on the internet. <laughs> <laughs> so who watched the NBA finals yesterday? Oh, I was so disappointed, so I, I eat the curry this for lunch. <laughs> so when I was young, I was uh, so into basketball, and my role model was uh, Michael Jordan. Then I was, uh, you know, when I finished the uh, university, I don't know what to do. Then I see my, you know, my role model, and my role model say just do IT. So that's why. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's why. That's why I'm here to, you know, in this IT career, here to share something with you tonight. <laughs> and we have a product. It's called uh, Devbot. So this is a product for uh, updating your Ruby application. So we will send you a pull request from time to time. OK, and I have an exciting announcement because I use uh, three you know, exclamation mark. So it's an exciting <laughs> announcement. I, I got promoted by, <laughs> by Winston. I'm now the CEO and CTO <laughs> for Jolly Good Code. <laughs> so <laughs> the, <laughs> CEO is chief emoji <laughs> officer, and CTO is chief typo <laughs> officer. <laughs> so, yeah. Okay, let's get to uh, business. I'm going to talk about Twimoji 3.0. So, as uh, you know, Twimoji is a Twitter emoji. It's a Twitter lay open source uh, set of emojis for you, uh, free to use if you attribute them back. So you can have an uh, emoji for your application. And so this is the Twitter emoji. It's different from this Apple emoji, as you see, you know, two different uh, styles. <laughs> and this one you can buy from Chinatown. <laughs> <laughs> I, I bought it uh, yesterday. OK, so Twitter has this uh, Twimoji JS. You can use this JavaScript library or use uh, this uh, Ruby library. So, OK, so recently, so the Twimoji uh, API looks like this. You, you pass a simple string. And it renders uh, the emoji back to you, so it's very simple. But recently, so uh, in the internal, it looks like this: it's a giant hash with a name to Unicode mappings. So recently, I have the need to update from to emoji uh, 2.0 to 3.0. So that's because uh, Unicode changes from 7.0 to 8.0. They add more emojis, so I need to update this hash. But uh, also, this is uh, another API of uh, Twimoji. So you can do like uh, find by text, find by code, find by Unicode, this kind of stuff. OK, so and I need to update the hash. So I need to know uh, where can I find the names. And Slack already got this uh, you know, handy list of uh, autocomplete. So then I write a, a simple uh, script to, you know, to post to Slack and get all their name back. So I'm going to tell you how I did it. So first thing is I go to a website that has uh, these old emojis. Then I get the, you know, the uh, image tag. There is a Unicode in the old attribute. Then I got, I got all these uh, attributes to a file. Then I post to Slack with some simple uh, rubies. And then I get the HTML back. Then I pass uh, this HTML to you know to get all the names from the Slack. So actually, there are three types of uh, uh, emojis when I get from Slack. This is the first one, the second one, and the third one. So I write some uh, Ruby, and to pass this, this is really small, but I will post the slides later. You can check. So I I, I write this uh, Ruby class and some tests, you know. Then I got all the names back. Then I can recompile the map hash. 
And when I got the map hash, it, it will look like this. Then we, uh, we, I review and fix some error. Then we open source at this library. So you can actually use all the uh, emoji name and codes from this uh, repository. Uh, you can use for JavaScript because uh, it is a JSON format for all kinds of uh, emojis for Unicode 8.0. And then what I need to do to upgrade to, to Emoji 3.0 is to you know, change the code base and fix documentations. Documentation is important for an open source library because uh, people don't know how to use your library. So when you do open source, make sure to fix your documentations and add some specs and update your readme. This is important, I put a slide. <laughs> And update your change log because uh, your stuff may break someone else's uh, library. So make sure to update your change log. So if you are interested in how I uh, upgrade this gen to another new version, you go to this URL. OK. And if you want to integrate Trimoji and Rails, I wrote a tutorial. But for the sake of time, I will skip here because the uh, second talk is more important. <laughs> <laughs> and if you write blog with Jekyll, you can also go here. I also have a gem available for you to, to use. OK, so the second topic is uh, more relaxed. It's uh, beyond uh, S350. So as all you know, last year was uh, S350, right? And this year is uh, S351. So also, and I'm really impressed. When I go to the Singapore government website, I find it's uh, TurboLink enabled. <laughs> you, you may not know that, but I find it's uh, TurboLink enabled. And Singapore is uh, really a gen. So, you know, and one of our gen is uh, something that very unique, something with a mixed culture, something is a language, something is a mixed language of this is uh, what we speak in Singapore. <laughs> It's called Singlish. So as uh, Steve Jobs say, that uh, uh, everyone in this country should learn programming because uh, it teaches you how to think. So I think a lot about uh, how to uh, you know, uh, remove the barrier to get the newer generation of Singaporeans to learn uh, programming. So I, I, will, I try to add a Singlish support to the Ruby language. <laughs> <laughs> so I will give a. Uh, a, a live demo. <laughs> a live demo. <laughs> One moment. <laughs> okay, okay. Can you see it? <laughs> okay. <sighs> so, uh, so what I did is uh, I, you know, singlish. I add some uh, easy way to. You know, uh, to address the language to more suit for Singaporeans. So, if you want to check if a string is empty, now you can do like uh, something like uh, empty hall. <laughs> <laughs> but <laughs> if you uh, if you want to do a uh, you know upcase, but now you can do like upcase la. <laughs> <laughs> and you know, when you are a junior developer and if there is uh, something went wrong and you don't really know what to do, in Singlish, what do you say? You will say something like Bobian, right? <laughs> <laughs> so <laughs> you can raise an <laughs> exception, and you will say, oh, sorry, la, or <laughs> Paise, la. Uh, there's another one. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> ah, voila. <laughs> voila. <laughs> and uh, as uh, you know, old gentleman here who went to serve in the NS. You know, everyone, right? So in NS, when you finish the NS, there is a, a word, like three letters you will want to hear. It's called um, ORD. So if you type ORD, you can easily cancel. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so so I add some, you know, uh lang singlish support to the Ruby language. And you know so you can install this gen in this uh, repository. 
and it's a hundred percent made in Singapore because I made in my Airbnb. <laughs> but they didn't provide me breakfast. I don't know why they call Airbnb. It should be called <laughs> Airbnb. <laughs> and it's production ready if Winston merge my pull request. <laughs> And you can install this chain today. And the version is 51. <laughs> <laughs> so it's SG51. Now I give you the power uh, on your fingers. Can you make the world a better place? Can you? <laughs> if you cannot, you can enjoy the conference there. <laughs> Thank you. Okay.